notice on the first video, you would remember that on their walkthrough, Jeffrey and Elizabeth picked up on a lot of what the homeowner has been experiencing. Jeffrey picked up on imprint memories on the first landing of the stairs that was possibly left over from the old house that stood on the property in the late 1800s. Elizabeth picked up on shadow people in the main bedroom where the homeowner said that he was bothered by a black figure that held him down while he was resting. Cindy and her team possibly contacted a man that lived in the house in the 1950s named Scott through the REM pod they had set up. They also contacted several entities, including a woman through the spirit box. When we left, they were still using the spirit box for communication with whatever was present in the room. There's you, Scott, you're the man, and there's a woman. So who is the other spirit? Is it a another man? I'm going to turn the box on and see if you can answer, okay? Is it another man besides you and the woman? <laughs> Is it a woman? <laughs> Is the other man the one that's scaring the children? So all three of the spirits in this room are human. that please again all three of the spirits in this room are human okay thank you are there any children I asked you earlier if you'd been to the other side if it was warm you didn't answer, so is it cold on the other side? We'd like to know who is scaring the children. Scott, is it the other man? Is this other man angry? Did he live here also? Did you get mad at me for having all the loud noise? Is that why you quit talking to me? Scott, are you still here? Are we talking to somebody other than Scott right now? Is anybody still here? Why don't you play with a flashlight? Think you have enough energy to make it come on? to this side right above his head. Let me see. So I was looking down, so. Was that you? Oh, well, that was like a car lot then. Can 
can you use that again and tell me how many people you see here in this room? Okay, you don't want to talk to me, that's fine. <laughs> you do want to talk to us? Okay. We thought <laughs> we thought that maybe you had left the room. Is there something we can do for you? Are you still in here? asking the right questions. Let's see. Your name is Scott, right? If we're talking to someone other than Scott, can you light up the red? Aha. Uh -huh. Is this the woman? Is this the other man? Okay. And are you here scaring the children? Do you mean to scare the children? Can you make more than one light come on over there? Not just the green one. Make the other ones light up too. Can you do them all? I don't understand why just one is on. Mm -hmm. is it, does it have to do with the energy that they have, Mike? Mm -hmm. Do you know who's scaring the children? Are you accidentally scaring the children? I'm not sure which question that was answered now. Are you accidentally scaring the children? Okay. So you, you don't mean you don't mean any harm to the children, is that correct? That's good. Okay. Okay, two up two. Is there anyone here that does want to do harm to the family? That's very good. So you three people are happy to live in this home with this family peace, peaceably? Peace? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. All right. That's, that's good to know. If you will, try to say your name real loudly for us in this red light, this tiny red light over here, so we can have your name too. We have Scott. Scott was born in this house, right? Okay. So, thank you. Were you also born in this house? Did you live in this house at one time? So y'all say your name as loudly as you can into that little red light. That way we'll know who you are. Can is there anything we can do to help you? No. You're you're happy right now? You're happy being here? So we can tell the family that you mean them no harm. Okay, too little. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Are you related to Scott? Okay. You 
you just decide to hang out with Scott here? Were you friends with Scott? What do they got hanging up over there? It looks really creepy. <laughs> yes, it <Yes>. does. <laughs> Can you let us see you? I saw a sh uh, shadow of you all ago. Not really a shadow, but it was a white looking thing. Was that you? Are you able to make yourself seen to us? Is this the room that you hang out the most in? Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you have any pets? Was it dogs? The dogs in this house see you from time to time and bark? Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. How many dogs did you have? One, two, three. Uh -huh. Three dogs? Two, two. We appreciate you giving us this time. Did you have any children? Mm. How many children did you have? Can you tap on, tap it out again? Okay, two, one, two, two. Four children. <laughs> Thank you. How many boys? Are they all girls? One boy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that means three girls. only one. You said you had four children. So, two boys and two girls? Yeah. Okay. The woman spirit, does she also live in this house at one time? Yep. Did any of you know each other when you were alive? So you all lived at different times in this house. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay. Did any of y'all die in this house? Mm. Was it the woman who passed away in this house? What about the other man? Did the, the other man die in this house? Mm. Mm. How did they die? Do you know? Scott, did you die in this house? But you were born in this house. Okay. How old were you? I know you're not going to be able to tap that out, but maybe we can get it on here. Were you in your 50s? Sixties? Anybody know how he was, did they say?
So you were in your 60s. Yep. Yep. Do the three spirits in this house, do you all get along? So you, you do not get along with each other, is that correct? Cindy and her team decided to let the guys come up and see if they could get any more information from the entities that are there. This little guru has the largest selection of paint ball guns and accessories. It's the only store that has its own feel. So call them to plan your next party or event. They have the largest selections of aerosol guns in Central Texas. They also carry a large assortment of martial arts weapons, swords, and knives. Ghost! We have the largest selection of ghost tech equipment in Central Texas. Be the little guru. 3302 Franklin Avenue, Waco, Texas. Make your business stand out from the rest with the help of the affordable sign guys. They offer so much at the right price. That includes custom signs, real estate signs, yard signs, door fronts, buildings, custom banners of all sizes, full and partial vehicle wraps, car magnets, decals, shirts, hats, jackets, bags, and other apparel, and more. They can print most anything. For more information on what they can do for you, call 254-300-1516. When you're looking for the one store you can trust to have the exact battery you need right when you need it, whether it's for your car, riding mower, motorcycle, laptop, smartphone, watch, plus light bulbs for lamps, floodlights, can lights, appliances, all topped off by helpful experts, it's easy to see why nobody else stacks up to batteries plus bulbs. Did I mention we also repair smartphones? Batteries plus bulbs. Trust the plus. We are proud to announce the addition of Robert Vasquez to our team. Robert is a seasoned investigator that is also a practicing demonologist and does have some psychic abilities, though they are not as prominent as Elizabeth and Jeff's are. Robert and Jeff here. We're resuming where we left off. Of course, we have the spirit touch right here, the K2 meter, the REM pod, and of course the flashlight. We also have the laser grid sitting right there. So we're going to go ahead and pick up where we left off. <coughs> Um, Scott, are you still here with us? No. Who's here? Are you a female? Yes, I know. Well, that's ambiguous. There might be two of them here. Are there multiple spirits here? Spirits! Spirits that are here, I want you to know that I come here in peace and I do not wish you any harm whatsoever. Do you guys understand this? Awesome, great, let's get started y'all. Now to any of the spirits that are here, can you please touch that green light that's shining right there? Can y'all please touch it for me please? Can you, guys, can you guys make a noise? Can you knock? Move something? Is Scott still in here? He's my friend. Where's Scott at? Hey Scott! How you doing man? Kind of floating around? <laughs> Scott, can you come sit next to me please? Got a spot right here for you man. Out of your way, Scott. To the other spirits that are here, I have what's called a spirit box. If you speak through it, I can hear your voice. Wouldn't it be nice to hear your voice one more time? I'm going to go ahead and ask a question, and you guys can answer it, okay? How many spirits are here with us? Is there a woman here with us? 
So the woman spirit that's here, what is your name? Are you scared of us? Spirits, do you like me using this machine or would you rather use the lights? Touch the light if you rather use that. Spirits, are you friendly spirits? Can you guys please say something to this? I, should, I really just want to validate you guys are here. If you guys would please answer just one more question on this, I will stop using this, okay? The question is, how many spirits are here with us, okay? Five. I thought I heard a five in there before I turned it off. Is there five spirits here, Scott? Let's give them a little bit more time to answer. Scott, are there five spirits here? I thought I counted three flashes of the green light. Three. Three spirits. Is there two male spirits here? K2 is going off. Mm -hmm. So there's two male and one female, correct? Awesome. Scott, my name is Jeffrey. What's going on? Is there a problem with the people that are living with you in this house? Is your problem based on the fact that there are children living in the house? Do you have trouble with this being a mixed race family living in the house? Are your feelings pretty strong about this? Are you scared that they're going to kick you out? Do you want that? Oh, okay. Scott, this family is scared. They're not sure what having you here means. Are you willing to back off? and be good. Do you want to stay here? Are you willing to listen to some rules that might need to be laid down? Let's see that back quick. If we can help with the family, and yourself to find an equal ground, would that be okay? Can we trust you to make some promises to us about this family? Do you understand what I'm saying when I use the word boundary? If I say that I want to put boundaries up with this family so they're comfortable having you here, are you willing to do that? Scott, is there a negative spirit here? Is the negative thing that's happening to do with the people that just moved in? Wow. 
So it's not so much with all the people, but just one of the persons. Is that true? Scott, all the negative things that they're telling us, is it true? Yes? Or any other color for no? no? Thank you so much for that answer. Thank you. Scott, I want to I ask you one last question. Will you obey any rules that they set for you? Scott, do you feel strongly about the um, diversity that this couple brings to the house? Yes, it does. So you would rather have someone leave that you're not comfortable with? All right, Scott, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up, but we want you to know that we come in peace. We would hate for you to stay here forever. Find your peace, Scott, and if I can be a way to find it for you, I will help you. We'll leave you with that. Well, I want to say that this investigation was great. We got a lot of evidence, a lot of activity, which is amazing. We have tons and tons of evidence using the REM pod here, which that's great. We got plenty of colors light up, which, you know, colors generate for yes or no answers. Now, one thing I do want to touch base on, and it's very tricky to do it, a lot of these times, especially these older houses, they do have entities, spirits that are back from that era. And in that era, they have different minds, different mindset. We do have a multicultural family here, which is great, shows progress. But at the same time, that family was from a different generation, different era. So they have a different mindset. I'm not going to touch too much base on it. But other than that, it was a great, great investigation. Jeff, do you have anything to add to that? We just heard. Well, we just heard the the uh, door rattle. The uh, door handle turned a little bit. You could hear it click, and I felt a force. I felt heat on this side of my body. Uh, this has been a very good investigation. We've had some good uh, affirmations from it. Uh, I think that there are some concerns with uh, this entity regarding the family that's here. And uh, that's something that we'll have to discuss together as a group and find a way to bring forward to the people of it. So what we're going to have to do is get together. Uh, I think we have an entity here that is from uh, several generations back has a slightly different uh, approach and uh, experience level with uh, families, uh, especially blended families. Um, it's a sensitive issue. We can see that. I don't anticipate there being any trouble. Uh, this spirit seems uh, to be very uh, willing to compromise. Are you experiencing any unexplainable noises or activity in your home or office? Or do you know someone who does? Please contact us at 254-749-5839 or you can email us at mcpi at live.com.